we saw lawmakers come in strong from both sides of the aisle, Republicans and Democrats. What did you make of the tack that Congress took here? I was really impressed at how strong and aggressive they were with their questioning. It was like night and day from past tech hearings we've seen. I know in the past, it's felt like the tech CEOs were the ones in charge, but at, at this hearing, I really felt like it was the members of Congress who were running the show and they had done their homework and they had the documents to back up what they were asking. Now you focused on antitrust during your time as assistant attorney general in New York. What is your take on how anti-competitive these companies are? Should they be broken up? Yeah, my take is that they have been violating the antitrust laws for a long time without having any consequences. And that's through both anti-competitive acquisitions, like the acquisitions of competitive threats that we saw in the testimony today, evidence that Facebook had done that with Instagram and WhatsApp, and also through exclusionary conduct, which is when a, a giant uses their muscle to stop another company from being able to compete on the merits to be the best. And I've seen that Time and time again, I've cited it for almost five years now, and I do believe there's rampant violation of the antitrust laws. So then what kind of regulation would you like to see? Well, there's a, a lot of different aspects of what I'd like to see. I'd like to see first strong uh, cases brought against the tech companies. We have ongoing investigations by the state AGs and the FTC and DOJ. I would like those to resolve in strong cases, not weak settlements that we've seen in the past where you get a fine that doesn't mean anything, but actually, probably a litigated situation to get the remedy that you need, which would be both structural breakups, um, as well as monitoring of ongoing behavior to ensure that there's not this exclusionary conduct that violates the Sherman Act. Um, and that's just the antitrust part. We also need privacy law, interoperability regulations, non-discrimination rules, transparency. Uh, there's a whole toolkit that needs to be used right now. The president tweeted earlier today, if Congress doesn't bring fairness to big tech, which they should have done years ago, I will do it myself with executive orders. The president's tweets and posts themselves have been the subject of great controversy. And these companies, especially Facebook, are facing fire from both sides of the aisle with Republicans saying they take down too much, Democrats say they don't take down enough. How does that change the risk here for these companies, given that they have lawmakers on all sides unhappy? So there are some Republican lawmakers who really believe in antitrust enforcement and want to enforce the antitrust laws here legitimately. Then there are some that I really believe are just working the ref here and trying to make sure that they can keep pushing lies through social media um, by, accusing there be, that, by making these accusations that there's a liberal bias. If you look at any record of what is the top trending uh, materials and content on any of these platforms. Top 10 is right-wing media, right? So I really believe it's unfounded, but I do sympathize with their concern that we have too much concentrated control over information flow and that the solution to that is antitrust enforcement. I don't so actually believe that Donald Trump um, really wants antitrust enforcement. I think what he wants more than anything is to control Facebook rather than to break it up. So after this, what happens next? Obviously, we've got the House investigation, but as you mentioned, investigations in various states at different federal agencies. You know, what does the path forward look like from here? I think very soon we need to see very aggressive complaints filed in court by the state AGs and the federal antitrust enforcers. I don't think that will be too far along. Um, and then also some congressional reform would be ideal, but I think we'll see the antitrust cases sooner. That said, how long could that reform take if it happens? I mean, are we looking at potentially several years of a protracted fight on this? So antitrust litigation takes a long time. The Microsoft case took almost a decade by the end time it was all resolved. Um, but, you know, we ended up having a very dynamic competitive markets as a result of the enforcement. So um, antitrust enforcement is slower uh, than actual legislation. Whether we can get legislation passed will depend a lot on what happens uh, in the election uh, in November.